Well, now at 10, hateful messages spread along the beach path from Pacific Palisades to Venice this weekend. The anti-Semitic phrase is just the latest in a growing and very disturbing trend. KCAL 9's Lori Perez live for us in Santa Monica with more on the messages and what locals want to see done about it. Lori? Yeah, I had so many people sending me messages and texts, emails this weekend telling me what they saw. Here is one example of the ugly messages that they found as they were trying to enjoy the weekend. We're told police have been ma made aware of these messages popping up. Now some more showed up this weekend to add to their investigation. I'm just shocked, but also disgusted. The neon spray painted messages are easy to spot, but tough to forget. Over and over, the Jew is guilty. The culprit hit multiple benches and in some spots, the pathway all the way from Will Rogers State Park south into Venice, stunning beachgoers with the anti Semitic proclamation. And I'm especially offended because we are Jewish and uh, it's, it's, Scary. Gabriel Lerner and his wife Celia Grail were among those who discovered the hateful phrase as they walked the beach path this weekend. Others sent us pictures of other racist tropes with the same graphic style. Locals showed us where public works crews had come out and covered up some spots, but anti hate groups say they'd like even more from city leaders. Not just erase it, not just get rid of it, but to make a statement about how wrong and how evil and how bad this is. So the Jew is guilty of what? Uh, pick pick any subject and you can apply it. This uh, scapegoating of the Jewish people uh, is historical. It goes back thousands of years and it has caused violence and death. Just two weeks ago and a month before that, someone spray painted the same venom on Abbott Kinney Boulevard in Venice. A neighbor took it upon himself to clean that up as others worry the ugliness is growing. We're seeing so much division now and then why not during this division target Jewish or Asian groups? Why not? You know, mm -hmm. it, it, and there is a why not? There is a big why not. The why not is that it's dangerous. Yeah. It is absolutely dangerous and we cannot take it for granted, not even a little bit. And she pointed out that May is a month set aside to honor Jewish American history. She does not think that these incidents are necessarily tied to that, but she says it does make it particularly hurtful. We are live in Santa Monica tonight. I'm Lori Perez. Back to you. All right, Lori, thank you.